Larry being out, defense having to play really hard to keep you in it. Just talk about the game, your assessment. Well, we thought if we won the turnover margin and, and controlled the line of scrimmage, we could win the game. We did win the turnover margin, um, but they did a better job than us, you know, running the football, controlling that part of the game. We really had some penalties and, and some negative plays on offense that set us into second and extra longs. It's hard in, in a scenario like that with their crowd noise. Their crowd was fantastic for them. It made it difficult, you know, and you're doing that with a quarterback that's playing a half of a game. So it was challenging, you know, and, and you got to give Syracuse credit. They played better than we did. We were shorthanded uh, in multiple spots, and, and as the game went on, it got worse. So, you know, the margin for error is small when, you, when you're in a position that, like we are. I was proud of Jack. I thought he played hard. I thought he did some good things in the game. It's just we didn't do enough to get enough points out of you know, the drives that we did have to, to make it a game there. We had a one possession game finishing, you know, eight points on the, on the scoreboard with a chance to stop them on a third and long and didn't get it done. Yeah, is there, is there some frustration just knowing that, you know, there were points left, left on the board? There? Of course. Yeah. I mean, three field goals, you know, and they're all red zone drives. Uh, every time you lose a game, there's frustrations, you know, but like I said, and, and, the game that we were in, I know it didn't end up a one possession game. It was a one possession game. I mean, it's third and 12. We're going to get the ball back down eight and have a chance to go score a touchdown and get a two point conversion to tie. And we didn't stop them there. Seems like that first possession, second half, you get down to 22. Yeah. Bad snap. Just yeah. Would have been big to cash in there. We would have. You know, it would have been similar to last week's game from that standpoint. Instead, we get a field goal out of that drive, which again was good to get points. But, you know, trading touchdowns for field goals is hard to win. Coach, you mentioned the, the crowd noise um, led to a lot of false starts. So, you yeah. know, uh, with a young quarterback or no quarterback in there, what was it kind of like for you guys today? It was challenging. You know, the, the dome plus the, the attendance made it uh, mm -hmm. difficult. You know, in the game plan, there were some things we wanted to be able to check to versus certain looks, and we weren't able to get that done. Whether it was, you know, uh, the play clock running out, we had to call a timeout twice on, on those scenarios. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're just flat out can't hear the cadence or, you know, the silent count that we were doing. Guys weren't getting off the ball at the same time. So the crowd noise was a factor. When did you get the news on the pectoral tear? And just mm -hmm. how did Devin take the head of the pretty good yeah. yeah, I mean, we found out Sunday that he had a partial tear and that it was possibly rehabable. They were getting more opinions, looking further into it. So it was like around 1.30 on Monday um, after my press conference, they told me. And at that point, decided that, you know, not telling people was best for our quarterbacks to get ready for Syracuse's defense and for them to not have that advantage to know who's playing in the game. And so that's why I did what I did with that. Um, but I didn't know, you know, before the press conference. I found that after. And so Monday, Devin will get surgery. And, you know, it's not his shoulder. That's the good news. It's a pec muscle, which, you know, from a throwing standpoint, it's a lot better situation than having a torn labrum or a, a rotator injury. It had to be tough for him, obviously, to think maybe he had a chance oh, yeah. of coming back and then get the news that he's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was, he's was he been through it before, so that I don't know if that makes it better just because he knows how to go through the mental anguish of not playing. But I was proud of him. You know, he immediately turned to Coach Beck and the quarterbacks and just say, how can I help you guys? You know, what can I do for these guys? And he was a great teammate and a tough moment for him. So I was very proud of him in that. Do you think maybe this team kind of came in with a, a heavy heart just kind of knowing what, what Devin was going through? Well, we obviously feel for Devin. I mean, we felt like we were coming here to win a game. You know, so it wasn't like that was on, on the table. But, yeah, we feel for any player on our team, and particularly one like him that, you know, has been through this already. What, what is it like just to be on the sideline when you have so many guys coming down and just trying to see who's there and kind of piece things together to get to it? It's tough, man. I mean, it's – you know, Boykin went out, and we're already shorthanded in the secondary, you know. Um, and then we lost Corey, and then we lost Josh. And so moving ends in the top. Well, it was tough. You know? It's not easy to win a game when you're in that kind of situation. And the bye week's coming at a good time for our football team. Coach, on that big 13-12 uh, and 13-14 where Schrader ends up breaking free and finding uh, – Alford down the field, they reviewed it. You know, did you think he was in front of the line of scrimmage or was the block downfield? Anything from your point? It looked like he was from the sideline, but you know, I don't get the same viewpoint that they get on video. It was probably close and 
the ref said that they thought he was right on the line. And apparently he was with the decision. Oh, oh, Devin, do you think he got back after the other completion? Have a healthy team? I don't know. I got to get through the injury report that we're about to get tomorrow first, but we will get Trent Fenix back. I know that for sure. But the rest of what happened today, I couldn't answer that. I still know. With, with the way that Jack played, do you feel pretty confident that he'll be the starter going forward? Or? Yeah. I mean, the plan is to play them both. And I think moving forward, it'll be a chance to play him and MJ. And uh, Jack played really hard. He did some good things, you know. And there was times where it was very difficult for him with that noise and the pressures they were bringing. And he made a lot of plays with his legs for us today. Didn't turn the football over, showed good poise, didn't get rattled. So we can definitely grow from that game and just take these next five one at a time. Coach, now you've seen Clemson, you've seen Syracuse. They have the big matchup with each other next week. You think Syracuse has a legit chance to take them down? I mean, every Saturday or Friday or Thursday, whoever's on the pitch, you know, I don't think you can ever say that. You guys watch the sport. There's upsets all the time. They're playing at Clemson, I think, correct? Yep. Uh, so, you know, you got to give the home team the advantage probably because of that. But it's going to be a great football game. And that's a good football team we just played. Obviously, Clemson's playing Florida State tonight. That's another big game at Florida State. So there's a lot of things that can happen in the next five weeks for a lot of teams. Coach, I'm sorry the door was locked, so I couldn't get in. Could you just give me an overall impression of you know the, the game and just what you saw up there? Yeah, I mean, it was a hard-fought game. I thought the, the crowd noise really impacted our team um, offensively. We won the turnover margin. felt like you know, from a run game standpoint, they bested us there. Gave up too many explosives in the run game. They had a chance to win at the end and, and uh, had them third and 12, chance to get the ball back and get around and score and didn't get it done. So, got to give them credit. Their quarterback played really well. And from our standpoint, I thought our quarterback played really hard and gave us a chance. The defense hung in there for most of the game and we definitely got tired at times there at the end. And the crowd did impact. Obviously, yeah.